Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron and thanks for swinging by the Auto Trading Channel. This is Trading View Tuesdays and this is episode two. Our main focus here at Auto Trading is to dive deep into the code of automated trading strategies. Today, I'm going to show you how to combine two indicators into one. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, as you can see on my screen, there is a custom indicator <laughs> at the bottom. Uh, I just made that a little while ago uh, when I did my walkthrough for this video. Uh, I combined the MACD and the Stochastics. I gave it the wonderfully awesome name, the Stoked D. So let me show you exactly how, actually, let's do this. Let me show you the code, just in case. All you need is to see this. That is what I did. I combined the MACD right here. I also combined the stochastics. And we have the intro. And I changed up some of the coloring and I took out some of the plots so not everything was showing up just to make it a little bit cleaner. All right, now let me walk you through doing that on your own. We're going to go grab some code from some indicators that we want to combine. And then we're going to put it all together and we're going to see what it looks like. So come up here to indicators. And I'm going to do the MACD and the stochastic indicator. You can do whichever you like. The thing about these two is natively they don't have um, any of the plots or the inputs, any of the variables. None of those clash right out the gate. And so that makes the, this a very uh, simple one to do. But theoretically you could do any of them. And so let's come up here to MACD and click on source code. We want to copy this as it is. So I'm on PC, I'm gonna do Control A, Control C. I'm gonna come over here to my text notes. I'm gonna click New. I wanna call this one MACD and Stochastic. I'm gonna hit Enter, and I'm gonna paste in the MACD code. I'm gonna give myself a few line breaks. Then I'm gonna come up here to Stochastic, click on its source code, and do Control A, Control C, and bring this code back over to my notes and paste it in. Now let's take this code and create our custom indicator. I'm going to select all and copy. And then I'm going to click on Pine Editor over here to open all the way down to New Blank Strategy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do open new blank indicator. There we go. Let's do control A, control V. And we have two sets of intro code. And so I'm going to delete this intro code out of the stochastics. Let's name this stochastics. Let's name that MACD. Let's change this to the stoked. Yeah, we'll leave caps on. D. Stoked D indicator. Mac D and stochastics. A C D. Stoked. Let's save this and see if we have any errors. So you can see it processed the script. So everything's good. Now let's click on add to chart. And you can see our MACD stochastic indicator does have both the stochastics and the MACD. That's pretty cool. And it kind of just worked straight out of the box. But visually looking at it, our indicator is a little bit confusing. <laughs> There's a lot going on and we don't 
have a clue what it's indicating. And so let's go in and change that up a little bit. All right, we are going to get rid of some plots. We're going to add a plot and change some of the colors. So I'm going to close out of those two just so we can see this happen live. There we go. The first thing that I'm going to do, the MACD, I really just want that histogram to show up. So let's forward slash forward slash those two plot lines out of there. Let's save it and let's see. Okay, our MACD, it did get rid of our MACD and signal line, but we still have the histogram. So that's great. But I don't want a histogram. So I'm going to hover over my plot style and see what other styles that we have. So it says control click. So I'm going to control click. And here we go. We have plot. We have a line, step line, diamond, histogram, cross, area, circles. I did circles in my last one. And that worked out pretty cool. And so all we're going to do is replace this column word with circles. Let's save it and see. Hey, there we go. We no longer have the histogram. We just have little circle plots. All right. Now, I think that looks good for the MACD. And I want to change the stochastics. So let's grab this color from the MACD. We're going to copy it. I'm going to come down right here. I'm going to paste this in. But this name already exists. So I'm just going to add two in front of these. And I also want Kind of the same look as the MACD has and really just showing me kind of one indicator at a time instead of both on my stochastics instead of the K line and the D line I just want one and so I'm gonna copy this histogram MACD minus signal line but I'm gonna use my K and my D so right under here, I'm going to name this, it's KND, so let's say KD, right? So KD equals K minus D. I'm just going to save that, make sure no errors. It says K minus D is a legible calculation. So I'm going to get rid of my current plots just by forward slashing them out of the code. But we have this blue and this orange that I want to keep. So I'm going to grab this blue color. I'm just going to tuck it in over here for now. I think that's the blue and I think that's the orange. There we go. Save early and often so you know where your error was, right? And the way the MACD had this really cool four color indicator was this line of code. This plotted all of these colors right here. And so we just added our colors. So I'm going to come in here and grab this and we are just going to replace all the words in it to make it our own. Let's go in and change some of these words. Everywhere where it says histogram, I'm going to change that to KD. That way we know what we're referencing. Additionally, right 
here where it says hist. That was referring to the MACD histogram equaled the MACD minus signal. And so I'm going to come in here and change everywhere it says HIST to KD. All right, we also want to change all of our colors to reference these, which have the number two added on. Now let's see, we're gonna save this and hopefully that's the errors. Uh, hopefully we catch everything. But I missed one right here. That needs to be KD as well. And there you go. It's starting to look a little bit more like the intro. I'm going to save this one last time. Minimize the pine editor. And actually, oh, I can come in here to the settings. Their style. I can get rid of those. Make it a little more visually appealing. So this doesn't quite solve any issues, but it's the beginning of understanding that you can bring in two indicators and you can make them look however you want. One of the really cool thoughts with this is we do like indicators that are visually appealing. You know that they're pretty and that they're cool to look at. But what an indicator does, it is it brings you a certain amount of data that you can then use in a strategy or anything else. And so this shows us that, you know, this specific point right here, we have the stochastics kind of hitting this all time high where the K line, I believe it was, crossed the D line. And then we also have the MACD right here showing us that it is going from downtrending to still below the zero line, but it's now uptrending. And with this new visualization, it might be easier for you to pick up things, right? And so that's all we're doing. But then you now have this data. So next week, we're gonna add on to this and show you how to do a custom strategy with this MACD and the stochastics data. So there you have it, my fellow automates. That is how to combine and slightly modify two indicators in TradingView. And in two days on Thursday for TradeStation Thursdays, I'll show you how to code this exact same custom indicator in TradeStation. A little hint, it's practically the same, but I'll go through the little nuances uh, that are different on TradeStation. So please check that video out if you're a TradeStation user. And next week for TradingView Tuesday Episode 3 and TradeStation's episode, we're going to take this indicator and turn it into our first custom built strategy. Now, with all that being said, to whomever, whenever, and however this finds you, I hope that it finds you well, and I hope to see you again soon.